Hello again, everyone. Todd Michael Putnam here from D&D Creative Table Designs, bringing you another adventure table idea. And this one is welcome to Skyhenge. Skyhenge. You've heard of Stonehenge, of course, down at, uh, you know, in, in Great Britain and stuff. Well, this is kind of a play off of that. Skyhenge uh, is the last respite uh, that the Druids have. Uh, of, of an area that is uh, untouched or unspoiled by mortals trying to bring civilization to it uh, because it is floating uh, high up in the, in the atmosphere and until Spelljammer ships and stuff came around, uh, they were unable to be visited and therefore they, uh, they uh, were untouched uh, and undesecrated by, by mortal hands. So it is the, uh, the highest of all sacred places uh, for the Druids uh, and, uh, and their ilk. Uh, and uh, in this case, the, uh, the heroes have to take a, a Spelljammer craft and sail their way up to Skyhenge in order to get some, uh, some important wisdom information, some kind, of, uh, some kind of knowledge they can use to further their quest, maybe to make a magic item, maybe to, uh, to find something that will allow them to stop some great evil uh, or, or uh, a piece of information that will be a great weakness in, uh, in some evil that they are fighting. Uh, one doesn't know, but they need to come up and they need to speak to the druids in Skyhenge. So uh, once they make it up here, uh, what could possibly happen in a place like this? Well, obviously there's lots of RP and dialogue that can happen. Uh, but additionally, druids live by that theory uh, or the belief that uh, in all things that there is a balance and that predator and prey are all a part of the, uh, the natural life cycle of things. And so for the request of information, something must be given in return or they must be proven themselves worthy. So maybe it could be a multi-part thing where they have to uh, answer a riddle that they uh, that the uh, druids have come up with, or it could be that they go into fights against the elementals. You could have perhaps a giant air elemental that comes off uh, in order to uh, fight the players and then switch it out and then make it a fire elemental and a stone elemental uh, or whatever. Uh, could be anything. But uh, lots of opportunity for for combat and stuff. Of course, they could be they could be attacked while they're up there uh, having the meeting. It could be a dragon or something that flies up to them and, and attacks them. You could have uh, a neighboring cloud giant, an evil cloud giant that comes across and uh, and uh, is angry with them and and decides to do battle. So there's lots of things that uh, that you can actually have happen in a in a location like this. Uh, but the idea is to try and get a feeling that this, this place is sacrosanct to the Druids uh, and, uh, and those who believe in the natural order of all things. And uh, so you want to create a feeling of a specialness and, and sacredness uh, to, uh, to the landscape. Uh, and in trying to do that, uh, this, thing, this build is, uh, is a combination of several things. There's a lot of Dwarven Forge, uh, Dread Hollow Forest in here. Uh, that's what all the trees and the green plates down here, the tiles and stuff, that's all uh, Dwarven Forge Dread Hollow Forest. Uh, great stuff if you can get it. It's out of stock uh, a lot, but if you can get a hold of it, it's, it's really good stuff. Uh, along the edges, I have their forest tiles, uh, so it doesn't just have straight square edges. Those are important. Really tough to get a hold of those. I was, I was very fortunate when they, when they had an extra stock supply to come in, and I snagged a bunch of them, uh, but they, they can be kind of hard to get your hands on. Uh, this big piece right here, this big... Um, Broken piece is uh, from Zitterdes. I don't, I forget what it's actually called, uh, but you can go to zitterdes.com uh, and you can order all kinds of hard foam type stuff. And uh, this is great for that. This is uh, any kind of uh, ancient coliseum or a sacred place uh, or a watchtower or anything like that. It's uh, it's great for that. These two big pieces right here, if you've ever played Skyrim, are going to look really really familiar to you, and that's for a reason. Uh, they are actually the pieces from a company called Mephidius, who makes a uh, battle game called uh, uh, something called Call of Skyrim, not Call of Skyrim. Uh, it'll come to me in a moment. But anyways, um, they, they make a, go to Mephidius.com uh, and look for their Skyrim thing. And um, they make a number of actual Skyrim pieces from, you know, sanctioned by Bethesda. Call to Arms. That's it. I knew it would get to me eventually. Apologize for the delay. Um, those two big pieces are from their Call to Arms game uh, that, are, that are supposed to be from Bleak Falls Barrow. If you've ever played the game, it's, a, it's obviously an iconic uh, location. It's one of the starting locations where you go through your first really big dungeon. Uh, 
big in terms of, you know, compared to anything you do before in the game. And um, I grabbed those and uh, got a copy of them. The, um, they'll, you can buy them and they, they ship them to you. You don't have to 3D print them or anything like that. So it looks great, but you do have to paint them. Uh, this is a 3D print river. Uh, I think it's printable scenery, but I got it 3D printed off of uh, eBay or Etsy. I think I got it off Etsy. Uh, the water below is actually a tile tray, a water tra terrain tray from uh, Dwarven Forge's latest Kickstarter, uh, Wilderness, something Wilderness. Uh, I can't remember what it was, but anyways, uh, that's the only thing I got was their river trays. Um, and uh, they work great for that. Uh, at the time that this is out, they're not really in stock. They're just shipping stuff from the Kickstarter, but eventually those will be av available retail. Uh, so that'll be great. The clouds themselves, the fluffy clouds, are literally nothing more than uh, doll stuffing that I got off Amazon. Just go look for doll filler and you get an $8 bag for that's just absolutely huge. Um, so that's what I used for that. Uh, and then I used 22 ounce plastic, clear plastic tumblers uh, underneath in order to support it all. Uh, and then it's resting on top of a 24 by 24 clear plexiglass that I got off Amazon. Just go to Amazon, sort of plexiglass sheets. They have all different sizes. I got a two foot by two foot size. Uh, and then I have five glasses, one on each corner and then one underneath uh, in the center, just for a little, it's covered by clouds there in the center of it um, in order to give it just that much more support. Uh, and that's how I create the elevation Cloud mat itself is from Noble Knight Games. It's a vinyl mat, so uh, you do have to watch out for when the sunlight hits it. Uh, there'll be some reflection or some glare, uh, but it's really a beautiful mat. If you're going to be doing any kind of flying or anything like that or aerial type stuff, you, you can't beat it. The clouds are fantastic, and the coloration is perfect for the uh, for the um, doll stuffing uh, in order to take off of them and or pick up off of them, for example, like right there just pick up and it gives it that true 3d type feel of the clouds uh, as it goes so and that's basically it with the exception of this right here is and i forget what it's called but i know it's from printable scenery um and you can just look for uh look for elven uh and it's like elven ship or something like that uh and uh it's a 3d print ship um uh, but you can buy it 3d printed i don't know if they sell the stl files alone or not for that i'm not familiar I just bought the ship directly and then uh, had it painted up. Um, it does come with the cool stand. And uh, there's another option for this back end piece. You can either have it like this or there's a different option that goes with it. Uh, I chose this one uh, because uh, it looks like some kind of propulsion unit on the back of the ship uh, for, for spell jammer type stuff. Uh, and then last but not least, I think, is uh, this centerpiece rock. Well, the rocks, the five or six that are around it uh, are from WizKids one of their like drunk jungle shrine sets, I think, or something like that. And then the rock in the center is, uh, is uh, I wanna say I got that from Griffin Co. I'm almost positive I got that from griffinco.com uh, and had it printed up. I thought it looked great for any kind of like a druid or um, shamanistic or primitive society type thing uh, for a, you know, a focal point for, um, for uh, in any kind of rituals or ceremonies and things like that. So it worked out great. And then of course I just put myself a, a little guy from, uh, from whiz kids in front of it there. He's got a shamanistic look to him and, uh, and uh, go from there. So that's it. That's uh, what I did in order to put it all together for the um, Skyhenge. Hope you like it. Please uh, like, and subscribe uh, if you enjoy the content and uh, let other people know about it. Uh, appreciate you taking the time to check it out and look forward to seeing your comments. I will see you guys next adventure. Take care. Thanks.